okay so topic for the day is banner on router so first we will discuss what is banner then we will discuss how many types of banner are there that we are using on cisco devices then i will show you how to configure banner on cisco router so please watch this video till the end if you want to know each and everything about banner so guys banner is just a message or you can say is a description you can see over here a banner is a message which is used to give some information about the devices to the user so suppose we have one router and someone is trying to access this router right so i will give some basic information about this router to the user right for that purpose we are using banner right so i will configure banner on this router so when whenever someone will access this router doesn't matter they are accessing via console cable via auxiliary port via uh, tail net via ssh they will get some basic information about this router okay so banner is is a message right which we are using to give some basic information to the user right and there are three types of banner there are three types of banner main, mainly used in cisco devices first one is motd banner motd stand for message of the day banner after that login banner and after that exec banner right so we will discuss each uh, these three types of banner one by one let me move on next slide so next slide is this one you can see over here motd banner and login banner are used to provide some information to the user when the user is trying to login into the device right so motd banner is message of the day banner it is a temporary temporary uh, banner right which we are using to give some information about the devices to the user when the user is trying to log in into the devices okay now second point is motd ban banner is used to provide temporary information right so temporary information used to provide temporary information third point is motd ban banner will display before login right so this banner motd message of the day banner will display before login banner right so if you will configure both banner right motd banner and login banner at the same time then motd banner will display first right so motd banner will display before login banner if if you configure both at a time so if you will configure both banner at a time then motd motd banner will display before and last point is exact banner is used to provides information to the user after logging into the device so when you will log in into the device then this banner will display you some message okay so this is theory part simply what is banner banner is a type of message or it is a description which is used to provide some information to the user whenever user is trying to access my devices the devices can be router switch and many more okay so first of all let me open gns3 where i am going to show you how to configure how to configure uh banner on router okay so guys this is my gns3 let me maximize it okay so you can see there is one router let me turn on the device so wait so if i will show you running configuration so running configuration section banner so you can see there is no any banner now right there is no any banner so that's why i am not getting any message you can see there is no any message right so first of all let me configure message of the day banner motd banner so command is very simple in global configure mode type banner and after that if you will put question mark then you will get this option right line configuration save exact login and motd motd is message of the day banner so i want to set motd banner so let me put motd and after that if you will put question mark so you need to 
you need to type one delimiting character right so if you will put c so c will be your delimiting character so always keep in mind that if you are using c character then always end your text with c character so suppose i am using character h okay so after that enter you can see enter the message right now whatever message you will enter right that message will display to the user whenever user will try to log in so let me put one message like uh, this is a this is a private router router please call me at 9644177412 to to before logging okay and after that you have to end with the same character h enter now see whenever someone will access this router right see whenever someone will access this router they will get this message you can see they will get this message this is a private router call me at 9644177412 before login this is my number so user will will get to know that okay if i want to configure something in this router so first of all i need to take permission from this number right from this person so they will call me and after that if suppose you want to configure exact banner right so command is same go to global configure mode and suppose here is one password enable enable password is cisco cisco 123 suppose there is one enable password cisco 123 so if someone will access this router router will ask for password so if i want to tell password to the user right what i can do i can configure one banner banner after that exact after that delimiting character so suppose delimiting character i am using over here is at the rate right now enter your message so message is enable password is cisco 123 after that we need to end this message with the same character at the rate now you can see if someone will log in this order what they will get so wait see first of all this message this message motd message right this is a private router call me at this number before logging after that they will get password enable password is cisco 123 so this is how you can configure banner on your router guys this is very very important topic right many time interviewer can ask to you what is the use of banner right how to configure banner on router so that's why many people were requesting me to make one video on banner how to configure banner on router so that's all for today if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel and if you want notification whenever i will upload next video please click on bell icon thank you thanks for watching Bye bye